German Chancellor Olaf Scholz is wrapping up his visit to Canada today. He's in Toronto this morning and then heads to western Newfoundland to the town of Stephenville. That's where he and Prime Minister Justin Trudeau will sign a green energy agreement. The deal looks to export hydrogen from Atlantic Canada. Peter Cowan is following this story for us and joins me now. Uh, great to see you, Peter. Uh, what do we expect to see in this agreement? This is going to be a high-level agreement, Hannah, that basically outlines how Germany and Canada plan to work together to try and develop this resource. And the reason they're meeting in Stephenville is because that's the site of a proposed project. They want to start by putting up about 160 wind turbines on the Port-a-Port -Port Peninsula. They'll use power from that turbines combined with water to produce hydrogen. And it's that hydrogen that Germany is really interested in because, unlike natural gas, it doesn't produce greenhouse gas emissions when it's burned. So Olaf Scholz is bringing German industry leaders along with him to meet with some of these companies. And Newfoundland and Labrador's energy minister says that his province really has a lot of potential in this burgeoning industry. There's a huge amount of interest globally. Uh, but when you look at Newfoundland and Labrador's uh, geographic location, when you look at the world-class wind resource itself, the workforce that we have there, uh, just everything comes together, I think, to make us uh, a prime location. And given the interest we're getting from proponents and we're getting from other jurisdictions as it relates to the energy itself, uh, that leads me to believe that, uh, that we have uh, a big role to play. Now, it's not just Newfoundland and Labrador. There are similar projects proposed for Nova Scotia, for New Brunswick, and all of those proponents are going to be in Stephenville today to uh, a little chance for a bit of, you know, energy company speed dating with some of those German, com German companies. That's one way to describe it. That's a good one. Uh, what challenges does the deal face in this sort of speed dating? The, the big issue with hydrogen right now is there aren't other similar projects that have gone ahead yet. This is really at the beginnings of this new industry, and so there's a lot of things they need to figure out. The big issue is cost. Right now, hydrogen is much more expensive than using natural gas, and especially if you want green hydrogen produced with wind power, it's even more expensive. So the industry is going to need to figure out how to reduce these costs because one industry analyst says it's go more expensive expensive, but there will be ways to get that price down. Right now, the global momentum to develop this technology paired with the um, sheer number of projects that are going to be uh, underway in the coming years is going to drive down the cost. One of the other challenges that they are facing as well is how to ship hydrogen. It's much harder to turn into liquid form than natural gas. Uh, so all of these are challenges that they're, you know, we're looking to see how Germany and Canada will work together to address some of the technological needs and uh, to develop some of these projects. Okay, Peter, thank you kindly. Peter Cowan in Ottawa.